You breathe. I'm sorry. All right, then. But watch it. I'm fed up with watching you fiddling about, building pyramids. Who do you think you are, Pharaoh? Well, all right, then. Just because we're a little bit slack. A little bit slack? Look around you. Go on. Just look around you. All right. So for once, they are not rushing. For once, it's been like this all week. Oh, well, we've been slack before. Go on. I mean, business will pick up. Be like me. Relax. Relax. Be like you. Go on. Stick your head in the sand. Fiddle. While Rome burns. Oh, look up. Come up nice again, isn't it? Yes, and it should. You've done it 14 times. I went in for heaven's sake, as you were. There's no work to do, so why go through the motion? Oh, dear, this is getting beyond a joke, isn't it? I'm glad you've noticed. I mean, a nice steady trade is one thing, but this is ridiculous. Uh, not a soul, not one solitary customer. And it was the same all day yesterday. Well, what is it, then? What is it? Are we all using the wrong soap or what? I don't know, Etty. I just don't know. You locked up? Yes. No, I don't know why we bother to open. Not that it bothers you. Why should you worry? I am worried, Joe. And it does bother me. Yeah, we've been slapped before, you keep saying. It'll pick up. But it doesn't, does it? No. No. That's you all over. The wolf's at the door. But do you worry? No, it has to come in the kitchen and lay pups. Oh, no, kids. All fader. Even our regulars have deserted us. Lofty, old Henry, Paddy. Why? Beats me. Them three never missed a day since we opened. No, but they're missing now, and there must be a reason. It's almost as if they were stopping away on purpose. Purpose? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, well, of course, I never thought about it from that angle. Yeah, well, the reason is obvious. You. Me? Oh, it yeah, well, stands to reason. I mean, all that hollering and bellering and nagging at them and busting them around. Yeah, they just got fed up with it. Well, of all the blooming cheek! It certainly is. Of all the unjust accusations, Alf Larkins, I'm ashamed of you. That's right, Etty, you tell it. I will. Now, you listen to me. Them three are very fond of Ada, and so they should be after all she's done for them, the way she's looked after them. Besides, they've been coming in here for ages. They're used to her nagging and all around. All right, then do sit down. <laughs> it's all very well for you to sit there in your little glass house, Erling Stone. Me? Yes, you. If we have been sent to Coventry's because of you and your horrible, nasty, grasping ways. Ada. Yes, I've watched you, giving them short measure on the tees, trying to palm them off with yesterday's tail buns. Short changing them if you get the chance. That is a foul and dirty lie. Well, I mean, there might be certain little mistakes occur in a normal way of business. Yes, there are certain little mistakes occur in the normal way of business. I've seen them on what had Osbert and them crafty little afternoon card parties. I notice he always seems to wind up the winner. Perhaps they got fed up with that. Oh, I'm not going to sit here while you slander Osbert behind his back. Why don't you blame me for a change? Go on, go on, say I drove them out. Well, thinking back on how you always serve their afters with their befores, I think I've got a good case. <laughs> oh, really? Is that yeah, so that is so Oh, uh, no, fool! Oh. There's one thing we're not going to solve this for arguing among ourselves. No, I don't think there is anything personal in, uh, in this. I mean, if there was, they would have left long ago. Well, they've all left now, haven't they? Disappeared one by one in a single week. Very sinister. Yes. It reminds me of a film I saw once. The Body Snatchers. Oh, do leave off. I wish somebody had snap you. Oh, you may joke, but very strange things goes on. Fiendish gangs of white slavers. Oh, Etty, all our customers are men. It could be a gang of women white slavers. Oh, Etty, <laughs> knock it. Look, Etty, isn't it way past your clocking off time? Why don't you go home? Oh, do you mind? I'm not going out there. I've scared myself rotten. <laughs> all right, stay here, but do leave off. Women white slavers. It's all very well, but people do disappear, you know, suddenly, without a trace. You don't even miss them. Until one day you find yourself thinking, I haven't seen old so-and-so since... Oh, my God! Where's Osbert? Oh, do sit down! <laughs> Where is Osbert? I haven't seen him since dinner time. I found the police! Oh, Etty, will you control yourself? Osbert is out on a mission for me. 
What mission for you? Oh, look, I mean, there must be some reason for all this. If they are not coming here, they are going somewhere else. Competition. Exactly. I must be, I, they must be eating somewhere. So I've got Oz on a sort of bit of detective work, sort of sniffing out the neighbourhood. Yes, but we know all the caves round here, and if any new ones had opened, we'd have known. Hey, there's Joe's snack bar. Joe snack bar, that one-eyed, fly-blown dump harlot wouldn't be seen dead eating in Joe's. I mean, they've got taste. No, I've been thinking more along the lines of one of them pubs where they serve hot meals. Oh, of course you would. Well, that accounts for why Oz, but so late. Yes, he is, isn't he? I wonder what's happened to him. I think I'll just step out. I think you'll just stay put. We don't want another missing person on our hands. Oh, here he is now. Well, well oh, let him get through the door, Ada. Well? Well? Oh, yes, fine, thank you. Yes. <clears throat> did you find out anything? Uh, did I find out anything? Well, did you? Uh, did I? Uh, oh, did I find out anything? Uh, <clears throat> what about? Oh, you've got a right master, my dear. You have done. Uh, was, but you've been out investigating tomb in the neighbourhood. Oh, yes, indeed, I have. Uh, absolutely fagged out. <gasps> Bags of legwork, so if you'll excuse me, I think I... Just a minute. Did you have any luck? Uh, have any luck? Uh, no, sorry, old fellow. Drew an absolute blank. So if you'll excuse me, I, I think I'll hit the hay. Hit the hay? It's not six o'clock yet. Ah, oh, no, Ada, but you know what they say, early to bed, early to rise. What about this after? Oh, Ada, no, I couldn't, really. All right, I'll save you for your breakfast. Yes. <laughs> no, uh, Ada, <clears throat> point is, I, uh, I have to go out very early in the morning. Business, you know, I may be away all day. Go on. Uh, yes. Well, uh, night all. What a shame, he's tired out. Tired out, my foot, he's up to something. You're right, he was acting dead fishy. And what's this business he's going on tomorrow? Yeah, and what's going to take him all day? Well, really, that's no concern of ours. And it, I've got a very strong idea it is. All right, Osbert, me old mate, too complete this Sherlock Holmes lock. <laughs> Ada, when he leaves here in the morning, I shall be trailing him. Where do you suppose he's going? And where would he come home from, stone cold sober, and with chronic indigestion? Joe's snack bar? <laughs> this morning I was saying to her, I said, what a lovely thing to have loyal friends. I said, loyal, dependable friends. I said, friends who will stand by you, I said to her, through thick and thin. Oh, Alf, give over. Hey, how did you know we were here? Surely we got a right to eat where we like. No, oh, of course, if you're not fussy, and you lot are not only not fussy, you want your flipping heads examined. Heads, you want trouble or what? Aye, aye. Oh, look, the head poisoner. Old Spot and Chops himself. Ah, oh, nice going, Joe. I don't know what you're blathering about. Not much you don't. I don't know what it is that attracts them all. It can't be your rotten cooking. Why don't you go home before Ada misses you? And it's not your curbside manner either. And it's certainly only a decor. I know what it is. Yes. You're using a new aftershave lotion. Listen, did you just come here to make trouble? Or do you want a meal? A meal? Here? You're out of your tiny tartan mine, mate. No. I came here to say hello to me old mates. Then sit down and shut up. Yeah. 
And you need not be on there. You Judas. Oh, I say. Now, look, oh, Alfred, old friend. Friend, just... I don't know how you can let the word friend pass your lips. Well, let me explain. Explain. You can explain when you come back, mate. If you ever come back, I am all... Uh, there is a reason. If a I reason? Just... A reason? I'm sorry, Oz. I couldn't stay in this terrible dump another... That's the reason that Joe's new waitress. How did he manage to get a marvellous bird like that? There we are then, Herbert. This one is yours. There we are now. And the sandwiches were for you, Fred, weren't they? There we are. This one here. Now you tell me if that beacon's not crisp enough, won't you? Now the two boiled eggs were for you, weren't they? There we are now. Now, they're three minutes each, just the way you like them, okay? <laughs> and sandwiches over here. Oh, there we are oh, now. Yes, please, that's lofty. Hello. And for Paddy. Thank you, love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you take Henry. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Oh. Oh. This one's for you, isn't it, Osbert? Buttered bun. <laughs> it was all there. <laughs> oh, who's this then? A friend of yours, Osbert? Uh, well, he was. Oh, I am. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, oh, I'm a very good friend of ours. Of his, yes. Uh, in that case, let me introduce Alfred and Miss Fraser. Alfred? Uh, Miss Fraser. Oh, call me Jeannie. Yes, I will. Oh, well, you didn't come here just for a chat, I'm sure. You'd like a meal, wouldn't you? Oh, yes, I would. Well, order anything you like, of course. But have a spare steak and chips here. Would you like that? Oh, I'd love it. Jiggy! Coming. Well, uh, See you later. Oh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, dear. Come on, mate. See what I mean? I most certainly do. No wonder they're all flocking here. <laughs> I, uh, I suppose Ada will have to be told. Oh, yes. Well, I mean, it's, it's only right, isn't it? Oh, yes. It's only right. But, I mean, she doesn't have to be told today. Or tomorrow. Or the next day. I mean, after all, this is a big case we're on, isn't it? Uh, uh, what is? The case. The, the, the mystery of the disappearing diners. Oh, yes. Mm, yes. It's very, very baffling, isn't it? I mean, it could take weeks, couldn't it? Yeah. Jeannie, uh, might we have the mustard, if you would be so oh. kind? Yes, just coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Poor old Ada sitting here at home, imagining we were out all day searching. <laughs> oh dear, yes. Yeah, you know, with any luck. Your luck just ran out. The search is over. Mustard for our Alfred. He won't be needing that. It's going to be hot enough where he's going. <laughs> oh. oh. Um. Yes. Why, Well, of course, everyone has their own little technique, I suppose. Though if it had been husband of mine, I'd have killed him. Yes, <laughs> well, don't you worry, Etty. I did toy with the idea for one blissful moment. And then I thought it would be harsher on him to let him live with it, so I did. Sitting there gawping at that tarty scotch piece. I cannot understand men. I simply cannot. I mean, she's not in the least attractive. How do you know? You've never seen her. Oh, yes, I have. Hey. I uh, just happened to be passing, so I glanced in casually. Mm, trust you. Well, whatever you think about her, she's lured all the men away from this place. And from what I've seen of them, dynamite wouldn't shift them. Mm. Well, of course, what we need is a counter-attraction. Whatever are you talking about? Well, when it comes to a lure, two can play at that game. What two? Oh, don't be so flipping obtuse. <laughs> no. I mean, seriously, I could do my hair in one of them buffoons. <laughs> a pair of four-inch eyelashes, soft-shoulder gown, 
long cigarette hold. Oh, do leave, old Vetty. It's bad enough being bankrupt. You want to get in prison. I <laughs> have very good burn. When we run up the Jolly Roger, I'll let you know. <laughs> oh, yes, where have you been? Ada, how would you like to have the cat full of customers again? Oh, you know what it is, Vetty. It's my nag and it churns up his subconscious. No, Ada, I'm serious and I've done it. What have you done? Oh, I've put us back on the map, girl. That's what I've done. Mind you, it wasn't easy. It took money and a good deal of persuasion, but I have done it. All right, I'll spit me old mate. Wheel her in. Hey, to my love, I would like you to meet Miss Jeannie Fraser, our new waitress. Our new what? Mind you, I had the top joe for a couple of quid a week, but it was the living in accommodation that decided it, wasn't it? Living in Oh, it? yes, this will suit me fine. When do I start? When do you start? Oh, oh, yeah. 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 I don't care what you say, Etty, I like Jeannie. Oh, for heaven's sake, what are you trying to do? Set up a long-distance record for sulking? Oh, I haven't got cause, I suppose. Some painted-up little madam waltzes in here, gets all the limelight, and what am I, I should like to know, what am I? The flipping house flannel? <laughs> It's not fair. I tender you my resignation, only I... Only you're afraid I might accept it. <laughs> oh, do stop behaving like a great big jealous kid. We've all got our jobs to do. Yes, and we all know what hers is, don't we? Hypnotising the men with them great big sheep's eyes of hers till they don't know whether they're eating shepherd's pie or rhubarb. <laughs> well, that used to happen when you were serving. I don't know how you can lend yourself to it. I really don't. It's downright disgusting the way she carries on. It is nothing of the sort. I'm a very good judge of characters and Jeannie's all right. She's a good, honest, hard-working girl. And she brightens up the place a bit, which is more than I say for you. Well, of course, if you want my resignation... Oh, do leave, old Fetty. Pretty girl like that, she can't help attracting the men. Men being what they are, and she does not encourage them. <laughs> oh, don't she? She encourages us, but she's always chatting him up. I copped her red-handed the other day, ogling at him. Ogling at him? <laughs> ogling. <laughs> oh, be that as it may. If I know Oz, but the ogling was on the other foot. Absolutely, Oz, but you shouldn't. This is my job. Oh, it's a pleasure, Jeannie, my flower. <laughs> You're very kind. Oh, think nothing of it. It's just one clan rallying round the other, the Rigby's Holmes and the Frasers. Blood calling to blood. After all, I am half Scotch. What's the other half, soda? Hey, <laughs> Da, my love. <laughs> See you in a wee while, then. Surely. <laughs> oh, Oh, isn't he a nice man? He's all right, I suppose, all down one side. Well, how's it going, Jeannie? Oh, I love it here. I think it's fabulous. It's a bit bigger than that old dump of Joe Mackenzie's. You've known Joe long? Well, I only worked with him for about a week, but I knew him years ago back in Scotland. In fact, I thought I was in love with him at one time. What? That uncouth, unwashed monarch of a glen? Well, he was a bit smarter in those days. In fact, you know, just for a while, I thought that no, but he's such a mean man as Joel here. He cares about his money. Business before everything. Oh, I bet he's feeling a bit sick right now. Oh, he's all right. The money that he's paying me. Aye, it's the Joe McKenzie's of this world that give us Scots a bad reputation. Yes, you're well rid of him. And pretty soon you'll be meeting a nice English boy. Not very interested in boys. You know, the only young men I've met have either been frivolous or selfish, or both. Oh, but you must get married, Jeannie. It would be a criminal waste if you didn't. <laughs> you know, I really prefer older men. Oh, they're more kind and considerate. And they make you feel you really are someone. Do you know the kind of man I'd like to marry if I had the chance? 
someone just like Oswald. Hey, hey! I would have thought that you would have ended up at this place all day long without coming around here in the evening. Nice to know you're wanted. Oh, I didn't mean it like that, girl. No, I just wondered why you're hardly talking to Ada. There's nothing on the telly. I just thought I'd like to be here this evening. Yeah, well, please yourself. Wasn't that your bell? Yeah, it's all right. Ada's gone. Oh, that's great. You'd better come in. <laughs> Look who's here. Well, 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 it's the lad himself, old Black Joe. And here, what's this, a proper suit? Shoes with laces and God! Line doll right, he's wearing a tie. I'll cut it out, I'm in no mood for your clowning. Where's Jeannie? Jeannie, she's gone out. She's gone to pictures with her boyfriend. Boyfriend? Oh, you've got a proper Sunday newspaper mind, you have. Jeannie has gone out with Major Rigby Soames. Soames? Do you mean Osbert? I mean Major Rigby Soames, and although it's no concern of yours, they're just. Very good friends. And the band played Believe It If You Like. Hector! <laughs> yes, Hetty, turn it up. Well, Joe, looks like you've had a wasted journey. Good night, mate. No, it doesn't matter. It's you I came to see anyway. Me? I want Jeannie back. You what? You mean to work? Well, of course. What else? My business has gone down the drain since she's left me. Since you stole her from me. Stole her? Yeah, you watch where you're slinging your insinuendos. No, uh, mate, all we done, we give her a chance of better employment. And she accepted it because she wanted to, and she's staying because she likes it, so good night. But I don't see a customer from one week's end to another. I'm starving. Yeah, well, you've got a nice 40 guinea suit to do it in, haven't you? Come on, I'll show no, you. No, I, I tell you what we'll do. The fairest way, we both have her. Both? Yeah, she works half the week for you, the rest of the week for me. Do you mind? She's a young woman, not a ping pong ball. She will come back to you if and when she wants to, now, Buzz off. All right. And I'll get her back. By hook or by crook, I'll get her. Your treaty pie was quite... Jeannie! Hello, Joe. Is this your fancy man? I beg your pardon. Oh, Jeannie, you can do better than that. I don't care for your tune. Do you know it? Jeannie, I want to talk to you. All right, Joe. Alone. Now, I have a right to put my side of the case to her, have I not? Now, I suppose so. If that's all right with Jeannie, is it, dear? Yes, that's all right. All right, then you can stop in here and talk. But we shall be in the kitchen. So watch it. Come on, all of you. No. They make a lovely couple, don't you? Haven't you done enough mixing for one night? I don't know what you mean. Not much you don't. It was you went down to Joe's and put the poison in, wasn't it? I may have dropped a remark. Yes, well, now I'm dropping one. Here's your coat off it. <laughs> All fair in war and peace. Don't be late in the morning. <laughs> Come away from there at once. Oh, that... Sorry, Jeetin Haggis, but I knew we shouldn't have trusted him. Do you know what he's up to in there? He's pers pers uh, proposing to us. Well, dear, let me listen. Oh, for heaven's sake, woman, have I not made myself clear? I'm asking you to marry me. No, Joe, you don't love me. Oh, for crying out loud, would I ask you if I didn't? Oh, yes, I know you. Anything to get me back to that rotten old snap bar. A cheap engagement ring and you've got an unpaid slave for life. Well, I'm not having it. Oh, you're impossible. Tell me you love me. Oh, the hell with that sniveling slush. Look, I, I've offered to give up my freedom. Isn't that enough? No, it's not enough. You let me down before, Joe. I can't trust you. I'm not asking you to trust me. Just marry me. <laughs> Don't know. She's waiting. Oh, the little fool. It isn't him she loves, Osbert, it's you. Hmm? She told me so this morning. Now, what have you got to say to that? But we're just good friends. Oh, my goodness, I go, are you out of your little tiny mind? Yeah. That woman mad about you, a lovely girl like that? Are you going to let her go to a great hulking brute like that? No, That's of not course you're not. Where's your red blood? Hey, you haven't got...
got any, have you? You bachelors are all the same. You need somebody behind you. Well, Elsbert, you've got me behind you. No. Osbert, she's crying in there. Oh, Osbert, she's crying in there. But what am I supposed to do? Go in there, make a counterbeat. And remember, son, it's for the business. It is for the girl's happiness. Is it? Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, good luck, Oz. Osbert, we will go in there with you and remember, love will find a way. Come on. Come on, lover boy. <laughs> green women, if there's one thing I cannot stand, it's a green woman. You mind your language. Oh, genius, <coughs> this great bin oak no, in no, fruit. It's all right, no, thank Well, don't you worry. Don't you worry anymore. The relief has arrived. Come on, Osbert, say your piece. I, I, you're a shy idea. You do it for him. I'll do it for you, genie. Osbert wants you to know that he loves you very much and he wants you to marry him there. Isn't that right, Osbert? Oh, Elspels, what is this? Quiet! So, oh, genie, do stop crying, please. It's not every day a girl gets two proposals of marriage. First, you and Osbert. I'm so confused. Of course you are, dear. Can't pick up my mind. No, I'm not surprised. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. You and me will go into the kitchen, dear. We'll make a nice cup of tea and we'll talk it all over. You men stay in here and behave yourselves. Come on. Oh, you heard that, gentlemen? She can't decide between you. So, we'll take that burden off of her dainty little hands. Hey, what do you think you're blathering about? Ah, well, I don't expect you to understand, Joe. You being by nature and breeding what is commonly known as dead ignorant. <laughs> but Osbert here knows, so I shall inform you. Now, in cases like this, what is customary is the two rival gentlemen, they settle their differences upon what is known as a field of combat. <laughs> Feel common. Oh, I say. Are you suggesting him and me have a fight? Yeah, I well, roughly speaking, yes. <laughs> it's being clearly understood that that the loser stands down. If he can stand, that is. Leaving the winner alone to plight his trough, right? Right. Right, now, Oz. Yeah, yeah, right. Or, 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 Oz, we could simply cut the cards. Ah, no, no, I, I, I fight so fair. happens I happen to have a good card. I fight fair. No, 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 not here. No, no, not no, not no, 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 I want you to be very brave, Osbert. I'll try. Jeannie loves Joe. She always has loved Joe. You're not in the running, dear. You never was. But bear up, Osbert. This could be your finest hour. I... I'll soldier on. <laughs> She's waiting for you in the kitchen, Joe. Go to her. Well, go on! <laughs> oh, I do hope she hasn't made the biggest mistake of her life. Yeah. Oh, well, later. That's it. Tomorrow it'll be all round the grapevine. Jeannie's back at Joe's, I tell you, girl. I don't think there's much sense in opening up. Of course, I always have said there's nothing like a nice steady train. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Doug. Any time, Hetty, my flower. <laughs> Mind you, I won't hear a word against Jeannie. I mean, I always have got on very well with her, really. I only hope that they get on very happily together. Yeah, well, I wouldn't bank on it. Here you are, Ada. Look, just as I said, dead empty. That means that Joe has got Jeannie hard at it, luring him in. Oh, I do hope she's done the right thing, that's all. Oh! God, for life! But what happened, an explosion? No, worse than that. Listen, you know that Scott fellow, Joe McKenzie? Yeah. He's got stuck, raving mad! Oh, don't go near him, I'm telling you. It's worse than Russian roulette. He's got a new set of house rules. If he catches you looking at Jeannie, bosh! Bosh? Aye, bosh. What? All of you? Aye. Because you make sure you've paid first. Bless her little heart, she has done the right thing. Right, gentlemen. <laughs> What'll it be? I know what it's going to be, Etty. Raw beefsteaks all round. <laughs> 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 <laughs>